Welcome to Biz Roanoke, and today we're going to be talking about the impact of sports on the city of Roanoke. Our first guest today is Robin Sean. Robin is the general manager of the Berglund Center. Hi, Robin. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Um, we want to talk about the um, impact of sports on the city of Roanoke, and this is a great place to start off our segment today. Yeah. Um, two years ago, the um, Roanoke Civic Center became the Berglund Center. So tell us about that transformation of the name and the benefits of now being the Berglund Center. You know, it's really had a, such a positive impact on our image as a whole with promoters and agents, even clients and, and customers. Um, it just refocused, put us into everybody else's focus for the first time um, as a new kind of exciting place to be. Mm -hmm. um, there was nothing wrong with the Roanoke Civic Center name. Right. It's just that when you're out trying to attract concerts and, and big names, it, that sounds more like you're attracting them to an auditorium mm -hmm. of sorts. Um, and we're so much more than that. We're a huge, you know, entertainment sports facility in Southwest Virginia. So the Berglund name has, has been, a, had a positive impact on our business. Now, and I know before you became the Berglund Center and moving forward over like the last four years, you all have made some significant improvements to the facility. Yes. Talk to us about those, please. Well, you're in the best room for me to actually show you or tell you about it. Um, four years ago, we started with the infrastructure of the facility to kind of overhaul um, the heating and air conditioning, um, right. those types of things. We call it the non-sexy investment. Um, <laughs> nobody could see that part of the venue. But this past two years, we've invested on the aesthetic part of it. In this Coliseum right now, we just replaced all of the seats and the risers this past uh, February. We've painted everything uh, a brand new color, uh, got rid of the industrial or, or prison gray as we called it, um, the industrial colors, so kind of warmed up the room. Uh, we put handrails in for the first time in the building's 42 oh, years great. history, um, 45 years actually, and we've replaced all the sports lights in here. Um, in the last two months, we've replaced the ice rink floor, which our new hockey team will be playing on um, next month. Great. And um, we're actually replacing the scoreboard right now. So gone is the analog board with the light bulbs, and now we've got a six millimeter high definition video board. So uh, we're very excited about what's happening in this room. And we've replaced all the exterior doors. We've painted some areas, washed the exterior of the building, and replaced carpet in certain areas like the theater. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really beautiful. Well, you mentioned the hockey. Yeah. And what role did the Berglund Center in bringing back pro hockey to Roanoke? It's very exciting for us. It is. Um, well, we've waited a long time for the right owners mm -hmm. to come along. And uh, owner and president of the team, Bob McGinn, will tell you that he thinks I stalked him, which is not <laughs> actually the truth. Well, maybe just a little. Um, but I heard that he and his NHL playing sons were uh, looking for a place to put an SPHL team. Um, so I reached out to them, invited them to Roanoke, and the dialogue began about a year and a half ago. And I told him once we uh, signed the contract last summer that the next year is going to go by really, really fast, and it has. We're down to less than 30 days before our rail yard dogs start playing. Well, I know Rena Cruz are excited that you took the initiative to reach out to them. That's fantastic. Yeah, Thank I think for, we got thank really you for doing that. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> um, talk about the economic impact of the Berglund Center on the city of Roanoke. Sure. Um, you know, I always tell everybody if you could imagine this building boarded up and closed. Oh. What would that do to jobs? We employ over 400 part-time people, um, a full-time staff of just around 30. That includes our food and beverage people. Mm -hmm. So we employ a lot of people um, here, but also businesses immediately surrounding us right. depend on the activity that we have going on here. Um, you know, restaurants, hotels, even the gas stations, um, and people love to shop too. So especially when we have conventions and things like that for longer than a night, people are coming in early, shopping, eating, hopefully staying overnight. I think it works well with what we're trying to, to do here so everybody wins. Talk to us about individuals wanting to learn more about the Berglund Center. I know I'm on your email list and I love it. So how can they find out more about the facility rentals and the events and subscribe to your email? We have everything online at our uh, website, theberglundcenter.com. And if people want to be the recipients of emails, advance notices of shows, discounts and such, they should sign up for our Cyber Club, which is what you are a member of. Mm -hmm. Cyber Club icon is on our homepage of the Berglund Center center.com and you're set at that point you're all set. I highly recommend that. Yeah. Yes. Thank you again for being with us and Thank we'll you. be right back.
Welcome back, and we are with Mickey Gray. Mickey is the vice president of the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs. Thanks for the um, jersey, Mickey. No problem. And welcome to Roanoke. You're a new Roanoker, so we welcome you here. I, I am, yeah. It's been yeah. about seven months now yeah. since I moved out here. So thank you for joining us and telling us about the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs. So talk to us about that a little bit. Um, what can folks, tell, talk to us about the team and what folks can expect in the next few months. Sure, well we're, uh, I think it's 31 days until the puck drops here at Berglin Center. Uh, what the fans can expect is uh, a lot of action, a lot of hitting, a lot of scoring, uh, and then uh, a good solid group of guys that are excited to, to become uh, adopted Roanokers for the season. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, tell us about the lineup and um, the, the games and the league that you all are a part oh, of. Sure. Yeah, we operate in the Southern Professional Hockey League. Mm -hmm. uh, we run a season of 56 games, which will be 28 home games. And wow. our season starts uh, October 21st, and it runs through about the the middle of April. And, and we're very fortunate with, with how our schedule turned out here. I think off the top of my head, out of the 28 games, we ended up with like 23 Friday and Saturday night games. So Perfect. it makes it very easy to, to come out and, and, and watch a game and not have to worry about work the next morning. So. Um, and we're excited to have hockey back in Runic, so thank you for all the work that you've put into that. Um, what do you feel like are the benefits of professional sports on a city like Roanoke? Um, well, one of the reasons that I like our league mm -hmm. in particular is that it's pretty much completely community based. Um, so, you know, not only do you have uh, something to do in a, in a smaller community on, right. on the weekends, but uh, we really strive to be a part of the community and we want our guys to be in the community, be seen as good ambassadors for Roanoke and, and something, uh, uh, someone that the young people of the community can kind of look up to as role models, uh, as professional athletes and things like that. So. Great. And um, as far as the economic impact of the bringing hockey back to Roanoke, um, how do you feel like that sort of plays out? Sure. No well, intended. Um, first off, you know, 28 extra events within Berglund Center, mm -hmm. so uh, a lot more people working here and, and things like that. But uh, on the other side of it, you know, I know when me and my wife go and, and do, uh, you know, a Virginia Tech game or Roanoke College right. game, mm -hmm. uh, it's not just the game we're going to do dinner beforehand, probably drinks afterwards. Uh, so you have that, those kind of benefits. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got uh, teams coming in from out of town. I know uh, our home opening weekend, we're playing Knoxville, which is only a couple hours oh, down yeah. the road. Yeah, just a couple of hours down the road. So right. I know their booster club and diehard fans are, are planning a, a trip out here. So you have those extra benefits as well. And then um, we also, one of, one of the things that we've been trying to do here is be a good local partner. So we have been, um, purchasing locally and, and working locally as much as possible. So, um, If individuals want to find out more about the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs, yeah. how can they do that? And is there like a, a club or a following? How can they yeah, get so, involved in that? Yeah, so there's, there's two different ways. Um, one, the easiest way is to go to www.railyarddogs.com, mm -hmm. and that's D-A-W-G-S. Right. Uh, not D-O-G-S. D-A-W-G-S. Yes, and that'll have all the ticketing information, that'll have all the contact information, mm -hmm. um, and I believe there's also a link to our booster club on there. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, and that's, uh, those are our, our most dedicated fans, and they've been great so far, and we're, I was just talking to the, the president and the board last night, and mm -hmm. they're super excited to start the season, and, and that's just a way to get... Uh, a little bit more involved yeah. in what's going on here. Well, that's so. very exciting. Yeah. Mickey, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, thanks for sharing. Yeah, absolutely. And I was worried about what I was going to wear today. Oh, no and worries. we'll look forward to seeing you soon. All right, thanks so much. Uh -huh, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. We are with Alex Michaels. Alex is the Vice President of Sales for Virginia's Blue Ridge. Hi, Alex. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for being with us today. How are you doing today? Great. Thank you very much. Um, Virginia's Blue Ridge is home to premier sporting events. Tell us about sporting events coming to Roanoke. Well, with uh, Virginia's Blue Ridge, I mean, with this beautiful climate and this environment, we're very, we're, this is a great location to have a lot of sporting events. Right now, we're, we're hosting many events in softball, tennis, uh, volleyball, wrestling. Um, it's just a magnitude of events right now. We, 
we really, it's a, because of the regionality, I think it makes it a perfect location for people to have their sporting events here. Talk to us about some recent sporting events that have taken place and some that will be forthcoming in the near future. Yeah, well, most recently we, we, uh, we hosted our Blue Ridge Marathon again this year, which was a huge success. It continues to grow every year. It's yeah. touted as the so toughest great. marathon. Yeah, it's touted as the toughest marathon in the United States, and, um, or one of them. Um, but it was just an excellent event, and it continues to grow. Um, with that, we also hosted uh, a couple different uh, soccer tournaments and, again, volleyball tournaments. Um, we're, we also, this year, were very fortunate. We had the first uh, Virginia's, uh, Virginia's Blue Ridge Twilight Criterion. Mm -hmm. It's a mouthful. But it was a very successful event with bike racing in the downtown. And we're looking forward to having that again next year. Um, I think it was a huge success, and it shows the kind of diversity that we have in sports. We, we're able to do everything from rock climbing to traditional football to any kind of sports that works well in this area. Um, now coming up soon, we have also uh, the Go Fest coming up soon in the mm -hmm. fall. In addition to that, we have some continued, um, we're looking at some potential um, wrestling tournaments that are coming up this fall oh, as well. Good, good. Um, so we're excited about that. And of course, some of our the other things happening is obviously hockey and some other things that are happening in the area. Right, right. We always look forward to GoFest. This is the, it's a, it's a great event. Yeah, it's, I'm excited for it. This will be my first year there, so I'm really excited it's about really it. It's really fun. Um, how do these, ben these um, different activities benefit the travel and tourism industry? Well, it, it definitely it benefits everyone, but it, it benefits the travel and tourism industry specifically. You, you have guests that are coming into our region that are seeing our area, that are seeing it for the first time, but um, it's filling up our hotel rooms, our restaurants, our facilities. Um, it just it's a it's an opportunity. Sports is definitely an opportunity that brings uh, people to our region. So it really ultimately it benefits everyone, not just the travel and tourism industry. And this touches on, of course, the economic impact of all of these activities. And talk to us about that a little bit. You've mentioned some things, but yeah, definitely. Um, you know, the sports industry as a whole is mm -hmm. pumping about 14 billion dollars into our economy every year in the United States. So, you know, Roanoke definitely wants to get part of that. Yes, um, um, but yeah, definitely. Uh, I see that you know, sports is definitely pumping millions into our economy and will continue to grow. We're working hard as, a, as Visit Virginia's Blue Ridge to continue to brand our area to support those efforts. And um, right now it's looking to be over 50% of our, our business that's coming into our town. So we're excited about that. We're going to continue to push forward and try to bring more and more sporting events to our area. Well, thank you for sharing that really good yeah. information. If individuals want to learn more about Virginia's Blue Ridge, Definitely. and um, I think you all have a, a newsletter as well, or news yes. email blast, um, <laughs> how can they do that? Well, for, first and foremost, you can definitely reach out to us, but you should start off by reaching out to visitvableridge.com. So that's mm -hmm. visitvableridge.com. I know right. I speak fast sometimes. <laughs> but um, definitely reach out to us, and we have uh, everything in there from meetings pages and facility information, mm -hmm. tourism information, and also a calendar of events. Yeah, so. the calendar of events is really useful. I, I use that often. Um, Alex, thank you so much for joining oh, us thank today. Thank you, Lisa. And um, we'll look forward to catching up soon. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Thank you for joining us. For more information on the impact of sports in the city of Roanoke, please give me a call. Lisa Soltis, my telephone number is 540 853 1694, or you can reach me by email at lisa.soltis at roanokeva.gov. Thank you.